Here's the thing about parents. When you grow up, they tell you to think for yourself. But they spend your whole childhood telling you what to think. My dad used to always say, Don't trust anyone, Billy. Confusing, right? <laughs> yes! Everybody on your feet, let's go! How's everybody doing tonight? I said, how's everybody doing tonight? Let's go! That's what I'm talking about! Leonardo here. We'll be going live for all the folks back home who couldn't make it. Thank you, Leonardo. Let's give him a round of applause. Come on. He wants to hear you too. Thank you. Please, everybody, sit down, sit down, sit down. Billy, we're ready for you. Uh, here we go. You sure about that? We've been ready for a few minutes now. You were looking at your phone. Well, the feed never sleeps. Nor do you, it seems. Well, no one lets me. There's too much... There's too many people to connect to. I want to ask you all a question. How many of you... think for yourself? My folks, that's supposed to be the hand raiser today. If that's all we got, we got a problem. <laughs> what were you going to say? <laughs> if only she knew what I really wanted to say. Okay, well... I'm going to introduce you quickly, and then we can get started, all right? I thought we were already started. I need something. Come on, come on. I thought you were already ready for me. I need something to introduce the segment. Don't you want people to know who you are? If they're tuning in, Leslie, they already know who I am. There is no segment anymore. That's why I'm here. There's probably someone already... There it is. My, my crafty guy is already going live with this. Your segment will be old news before it even makes the news. Be that as it may, I need something to come into from commercial. So if you don't mind, I'd like to do my job and then I can get out of your hair. Is that okay with you? Great. I just got the green light from a dinosaur. Great. All right, let's go. Come on, hands up. How many of you think for yourselves? That's more like it. All right, a lot of you. A lot of hands, a lot of people proudly admitting the thinking for themselves. Nobody. Now. And I mean no fucking buddy. Thinks for themselves. What if I were to tell you? Well, fuck me, I don't. That was all bullshit. We're sitting here backstage, and as you can hear through the walls, the crowd is rocking. This capacity crowd is here to see this man, Billy Seldom, a social media sensation blah, 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 who has blah, taken blah. the when internet she shut by the storm up? with his rather aggressive philosophies on self-help. With ever more than 15 shut the fuck million up? followers online, and what sounds to be a lucrative book okay, deal in the world, the point, Mr. Seldom has spent the past few months on a sold-out speaking tour across the country, becoming a household name in the process, and the face of the ideals of a generation. Yeah, now, they know Billy, my name, that's why. Yeah. They're we watching. Of course. To what would you say you owe your success? Well, I think it's pretty simple, Leslie. Thank you for that lovely introduction. I think what it comes down to is that people in this country and around the world are tired of being told what to do, I'm tired of being shown the rules of the game and when and where they get to play it. They're finally ready to take their lives into their own hands. As for why me, which I think is what you were getting at, I think that people, especially young people, have a much more sensitive radar for bullshit than you give them credit for. I'm always honest with them. They respect that, which I think this is what this movement is based off of. This is a cable news program, Billy. Oh, come on. You got a bleep guy back there somewhere. Let's make him earn his fucking lunch for once. <clears throat> huh? What if I were to tell you that the last time any of you thought for yourselves, I mean, really, thought for yourselves, Never. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. All right, come on, come on, let's hear it, let's hear it. Stay with me now, hear me out, hear me out. Don't you see the hypocrisy in your message? Where would that be? Surely you see the irony in one man making a fortune asking people to listen to him tell them to think for themselves. Don't you tell people how to think? I report the news. With a point of view. An objective point of view. <laughs> now who's the hypocrite? Objectivity is dead. 
you and whoever you work for compete for headspace the same way I do. The only difference is that I'm honest about where I'm coming from. I never told anyone to listen to me. All I've done is simply state what I feel is the most effective way to live a life with purpose. And charge a pretty penny to hear it. Well, I didn't invent the marketplace. Yeah, but you did write a book. Oh, so you did notice. Burn the other cheek, provocative title. Are you implying that this movement, as you so call it, is representing some kind of new religion? No, I, I would never get in the way of someone's faith. But what is religion anyway? If not a code of rules, passed down through civilization as a means of establishing control. Pray here, don't pray there. Thou shalt this, thou shalt not that. I don't really go in for that kind of thing. My message is simple. I say, think for yourself. Do what you want to do, because you want it. Not your teacher or your father, definitely not your anchor woman. Well, and what about your father? And here we go. You've never mentioned him before, and he's impossible to reach for a comment. Where does he fit into all this? Man, I'm done with this shit. Billy, these people want to know about you. You said so yourself, you're always honest. So, what do you say to the people out there who are curious about where Billy Seldom comes from? I say, go fuck yourself, Leslie. I say, think for yourselves. What are you doing? What are you doing? Fucking prick. Because, Billy, we have to cross pollinate with this Stop. Thing, Stop. That is the last interview I ever give. You got that? Yeah. Go ever. Robin, 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 Robin. Bro. You hear that sound? Uh, yes. You know why they make that sound for me? Because they love you, Billy. No. It's because I sell them a fucking dream. Got that? Don't ever saddle me with reality like that again. Ever, okay? I'm bad at Billy, see? No, fuck, fuck off of me. What is truth? This world has led us to believe it's everything and nothing. We become our own worst enemy. Total hypocrites. Can we turn that off, please? Great interview today. I thought it doesn't air until tomorrow. Well, they released some teaser footage. He fucking killed it. She was a bitch. Yeah, she was That's a bitch. Quick. <laughs> How's your day? Like every other day. <laughs> the world is ending. When is it not ending? Is that what you're wearing? Oh, shit. You are unbelievable. I completely forgot that was today. How was that possible? I was a little busy this afternoon. Oh, please, you could practically sleepwalk through those things by now. I mean, you already do. What does that mean? Billy, I thought we came home so you could change. Babe, I really, really don't think I can do it tonight. Billy, this is a party to honor you. You're literally the guest of honor. You can't not go. Yes, I can. I can do whatever I want. That is the whole point of all of this. Oh my God, I'm not talking about your shows. I'm not talking about your books. I'm talking about the real worlds where you actually have to thank the people who give you money. Is the fact that I make them the money thank you enough? Can't I just keep making them more money? I'm not having this conversation with you every single time we go to dinner. Natalie. Do you like this life that we live, this house that we live in, going on tour around the country with people running up to you screaming your name? Yes. Yeah, you do. Okay, well, these are the people. Is that what you're fucking wearing? We can just order in. We will have a drink. We can have a drink here. Fuck. We don't need them. All right, we got here without them. We don't owe them anything. All right, don't you ever get tired of it? No, you look great, let's fucking go. So here's the thing. 
My dad is a good guy. Yeah, he's a good one. But shit, he really had a lot to say. You know, sometimes when people try to teach you something, they shove it all the way down your throat. They never give you a chance to figure it out for yourself. It's counterintuitive, right? Well, that's how the brain works. You see, Billy, life is a funny one, ain't it? You waited here like a good boy, waiting for me to tell you what to do next. That's good. I mean, you follow orders. But really, son, you gotta make life the way you want it. Have morals, but people's, people's gonna want you to follow its ways. You know, go to college, get a job, taxes. Always got to follow this damn system. My best advice to your son, Billy Boy, screw all that and do what you want to do. I can teach you right from wrong, but the rest, it's up to you. School won't teach you that, too. No, no, it will not. Job, it won't teach you that. You got to teach yourself what you want to do. You know, Billy, Think for yourself. That's all I can say. <laughs> now, where is my goddamn cigar? Cazzo, people, put this telephone down. I said, put the phone down. We're good. We're good. <laughs> no, Thank you, everybody, for good. being here tonight. No one gives We're a shit. We're here to celebrate our boy Billy and his great accomplishment. You're the man, Billy. Tomorrow is going to be the first day of the rest of your life. These fucking books will turn into movie, and who knows what the fuck else. You might be even be playing yourself in one of these movies. I <laughs> say Tony Robbins kiss my ass. And Billy, you did it all with one simple yet powerful phrase. Think for yourself. Everybody, think oh, for yourself. Leo, Leo. Only thinking and caring about his bank account and how much fatter it gets with whatever I or any of his clients. No, 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 no. You're the man of the hour. Everybody wants to hear your talk. Give us a speech. <laughs> I could be a serial killer for all he cares. No moral code, no nothing. Only the code of the Benjamins. All right. Speech for Leo. Where do I start? I've been speaking all day, so I'm gonna make this quick. I feel like that's all I do these days, is just talk, 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 talk. I'm sure you're all sick of it. Um, I'd like to say thank you, Leo. I don't know if this is a good thing or not, but um, I wouldn't be here without you. So, thank you, my hardworking, crazy agent. <laughs> I don't think that this is where I wanna be, but I wouldn't be here without you, so. Thank you for that. Be remiss if I wouldn't thank my beautiful girlfriend, Natalie. She looks amazing tonight, guys, right? Doesn't she? Look at her. You look miserable. Beautiful. <sighs> and of course, have to thank these little guys right here. All these things, these little fucking bastards here. Where would I be without these little bastards, huh? I know where I would be. I'd probably be back on some farm or something, some nobody. Leo never would have heard of me. But they found me, all these little things, and they brought me into people's homes and people's screens and their feeds and their families, and they listened. <laughs> the crazy thing 
about it is as soon as I started telling people to think for themselves, they all started listening to me. They listened and they got hooked on it, just like they get hooked on everything else, just like you guys are all hooked on the screens right now. I'm speaking. There's a human being speaking in front of you right now. <laughs> Whatever. I'll be the guy, I guess. Uh, but we're gonna sell a lot of fucking books. So cheers, everybody. Drink for yourselves. Have a fun time. Eat up on me. How's Let's that go. For cheers. You? The stories. I'm tired of living this fucking lie. Yeah, maybe just stick to the wine. What wine? Do you want me to ask the waiter? No, I'll do it hey myself. Hey guys, we're going live. This is so gonna trend. Is this what our society has become? It's been a Detached from their brains and their hearts. Reality. Chianti. Old as hell. What happened to us? What happened to the entire world? Well, it's just these are potentially uncharted territories we're entering. Is that funny? It just hit me. Wine is the only thing people like old. Nothing ages like a grape. Hmm. That's true, huh? I'm glad someone's having fun. Rough night? No, it was a rough morning, and then it was a long afternoon, and then it was a drive in traffic to a dinner that I wanted no part of, and then it was a rough night. Well, it can't be that bad. You're drinking pretty good wine. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I was sad because I was empty. Maybe you're empty because you're sad. I am sad. Because this is what passes for entertainment around here. God, guy, isn't there like a, a game or something? You don't watch the news? <laughs> that is not news. Oh, it's not? No, that is a dumpster fire filled with anger porn. Sounds pretty bad. It sounds like a fucking Thursday. Let me ask you something. How many times does the same shit have to keep happening for people to stop calling it the new normal? Uh, if it just keeps happening over and over and over again, isn't it just normal? Well, some people aren't ready to give up on things as you are. Are you gonna give up on that martini? You know what they say about martinis? What's that? They're like tits. One's not enough, three's too many. I always thought martinis were like assholes. Why, because they're dirty? No, because you can see right through them. <laughs> I'm Billy. I know who you are, I follow you. So you're the one. Yeah, welcome for the blue check mark. Oh, you're different than I thought you'd be. Uh oh. No, it's not bad. It's just that on stage you're so positive. You came to see me? I did. About a year ago in Green Bay. Really? How did. I mean, what did I say that helped? You said, hmm, in order to win what hasn't been won, you have to do what hasn't been done. And that really stuck with me. It changed my life, and I thought, if I ever got to meet you, I would say thank you. So, hmm, thank you. Welcome. It's all bullshit, isn't it, though? Yes. No, no. Yes, no, it is. This isn't, this isn't really me. Who are you? I don't know. You just caught me on a rough night is all. Well, can I give you some advice that someone once told me? Sure. 
Don't throw fuel into the fire. Think for yourself. Fun night. Yeah. Hey. Hmm. I'm not tired. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go like scroll and unwind. I'll come to bed later. Hey. Oh, <laughs> when are we just gonna be honest with each other and end it? It only continues because we settled normalize this entire dysfunctional relationship. Now, Billy, Billy, Billy. Actually, your mother hated that I call you Billy. We did, after all, name you William. Yeah, William. Snooty, snazzy, uppity William. Nah, not my son. You ain't no razzle-dazzle. <coughs> so Billy suits you better, I think. But what the hell do I know? It's better to know nothing. You know too much, Billy. You become compromised. Compromised of your surroundings. Your mind becomes who you're with. And the next thing you know is what they know. You follow? I guess what I'm trying to get is forget everyone and decide who you are. What is it that you like? Not what I like, but what you like. What is your purpose in life, son? I mean, shit. Life happens. Fast, too. And then all of the sudden, poof. You forget your purpose. You gotta find it on your own. Shit. Some people never find their purpose. Some. I mean, most. Hear me out. How many of you went to college with a major that matches your job right now? Okay. All right, couple. Nice. College educated crowd. I like it. Now, how many of you with your hands raised, how many of you feel that what you're doing, your current career, is your destiny in life? What you are doing right now, everything that led up to it, was it what you wanted? Was it? Was it your calling? I see two hands. <laughs> oh, man, folks, 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 listen. We have fallen into patterns. Patterns of what, you might ask? Well, patterns of following. Patterns of following your friends. Like, 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 like. Patterns of what our parents want. Patterns of what our parents don't want. That's even worse, right? Patterns of what the media tells us is the thing right now. Do it, do it, do it. We've all but forgotten who we are, who I am, who you are. Who are you? you gotta ask yourselves, when was the last time you did what you wanted to do? 
When was the last time you went where you really wanted to go? When was the last time you said what you wanted to say? When was the last time you didn't do something you didn't want to do? When was the last time you said no? Jesus, I can say no? I'm allowed to do that? Yeah. You gotta ask yourself. When was the last time that you, or you, or you, genuinely thought for yourself? Without hesitations, without any interruptions, without hesitations, without influences? <laughs> That's a tough one, folks. That's a tough one. Influences! Influences. We should all have role models. We should all have North Stars. We should have healthy influences. But at what cost? Huh? What's good for you? Is it good for me? I don't know. I don't know. Might not be. He, thinking for yourselves, three words, one phrase. Yeah, that's right. A lot of you know where I'm going with this. It's the first page in your booklet. Three big letters. Let's hear it, everybody, on your feet. Everybody, say it with me on three. One, two, three. Clear the stage. Turn the page. Let's go. Programming, ladies and gentlemen. Let's talk about programming. Where do we start with that one? Programming is the enemy of thinking for yourself. It happens to all of us. It happens from the second you're born. You've been programmed. You've been programmed. You've been programmed. You've been programmed. You've definitely been programmed. <laughs> Why are you laughing, lady? You've been programmed too. All of us program to want what they tell you to want. Big house, rich job. You know what makeup that celebrity likes? No, 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 I, I, I need it because if I don't have the same concealer that that celebrity does, I might as well be dead. The side of the road. Programmed to feel how they want us to feel. He said, what? What a monster. She did what? What a bitch. Fuck her. Let's bury her for the rest of her life in shame and ridicule and accusations. And we think that this program is given to us to make us happy. Make us feel all warm and cuddly. 
But it's not. No, it's given to you. To control you. It's given you to turn you all against each other. What we need to do is tear that program down. Break it apart, brick by brick by brick. You guys with me? All right, good. Now repeat after me. Repeat after me, Billy. Tootin', snootin', loop a loop hoop. Don't fall for all that hoop. Gotcha. You ain't repeating that. As a matter of fact, don't be repeating anything from anything. You get lost more and more from all what you have in here. All those damn sing-alongs you learned in school. Shit. You just repeat and didn't even know what you were singing. Hell, next thing you know, they'll tell you to jump off the goddamn London Bridge and you'll do it, just because I said so. Now be a good boy and go get me another cigar. Hey guys. Just watching the sun come up. Sometimes there's just nothing to say, you know? Isn't it beautiful? Tootin' snootin' loop a loop hoop. Don't fall for all that hoop. <laughs> You feeling okay? Yeah, why? Nothing, just weird life. What's weird about the sunrise? Nothing's weird about a sunrise. You were like crying over it and also, hey guys, like, did you forget how the internet works or something? Oh shit. You can't just misgender 50% of your followers, Billy. They'll get you for that. Shit. Is this really what you put on in the morning? Well, you see what's happening? I can't take my eyes off of it. I can't even. Who is it? It's Leonardo. Hey. What the fuck, Billy? Jesus. Sometimes there's nothing to say. These people are paying you a fucking fortune to say things. That's exactly why they're paying you. I already received three phone calls from the publisher. Okay, I get it. What is it that you get, Billy? What do you get? What do we do now? I'm not gonna say it. Oh, yes, you are. I'm not gonna hang up this phone until you say it. What do we do? <laughs> we give them what they want. What they want, exactly. Thank you, Billy. When are we meeting about the book deal? Um. Yeah, the meeting is uh, pushed. What? I don't know. Uh, really something about troops moving in. Uh, they had to reschedule. Uh, uh, but this is exactly what I'm saying, Billy. Let's don't give them any opportunity to go cold feet on us. Not until we sign on the dotted line. OK, I hear you. Uh, good. Uh, but uh, <laughs> what is it about this misgender? No meeting? It's rescheduled. Hmm. What's, hmm? I just told you that was weird. It's not what it's about. It's about troop movement or some, I don't, it's not, they don't care about that. Don't be stupid, Billy. Everyone cares about everything. Come here. No, they don't love me. No one even knows what that is. 
It'll happen, okay? Don't worry, they all love you. Just go back to doing what you're best at. Which is what? Making their hearts race. I was just trying to give them something honest. And when do you care about doing that? <laughs> okay. I mean, I was just trying to comfort you. But... You can enjoy this a little less. What are you talking about? I'm trying to tell you that something is wrong. That something feels wrong, and you have this fucking grin on your face. It's like you're relieved. What? I'm... What? Patting me on the back while you're texting? You think that's supposed to make me feel better? I'm just trying to fucking what? comfort you. I don't know, Billy. Comfort me by telling me I'm a professional liar that's supposed to... I didn't say that. I didn't even fucking say that. Not the shit, Natalie. Okay, I saw what you were doing. You're... I'm trying, I'm trying to accomplish something here. I'm trying to get off of people's phones. I'm, a book deal gets us to that next level and you can't even look at me while we're fucking talking to each other. It's like I'm interrupting you or something. So I'm sorry for bothering you and interfering with the stimulating fucking conversation you were just having. Oh, fuck you, Billy. Where the Figuring fuck? out how to split the fucking atom, I'm sure. Where the there. fuck did this even come from? All I've ever done is try to support your ass. You support? Me. Okay. You support me as long as there's a dinner to go to or some celebrity to meet. And then what do you do when I introduce you to them? You fucking get drunk and fucked up, make a fool out of yourself, and you burn every fucking bridge I try to set up for you. Well, I am so sorry we're not all as gifted at bullshitting as you. Fuck right, Billy. you're not as gifted as I am, because if you were, you'd be better at hiding the fact that you like when I get bad news. It makes you feel fucking equal. <laughs> God forbid I feel equal to you, Billy. That's not what I fucking God forbid. Mean. The great fucking Billy Seldom who has sunrise meltdowns. How could I ever compete? I'm not trying to compete with you. I'm trying to share this shit with you. Get the good stuff and the bad stuff together. Well, that's what I'm trying to do too. But you're trying, you don't even share the same bed with me anymore, Natalie. How long's that been? Huh? A couple weeks, a month? Does that sound like a healthy relationship to you? Relationship Where the fuck you? did this come from, Billy? Honestly, oh my I'm God. I'm not happy. you think I'm happy. Who's happy, Billy? Do you think anyone's happy? Listening to you scream the same fucking bullshit every weekend, all year long? The only difference is I'm not fucking whining about it and putting everything that we've been working for in jeopardy. That we've been working for? Yeah. Fuck right that we've worked for the fuck. We've. You wouldn't fucking be here without me. Yeah, without my constant push and my support and posting and reposting your shit. Please, I am the only. You're the only. You're the only what? Please give me that. I need that. Only what? Billy, like, no one knew who the fuck you were before me. No one knew who you were. How many followers did you have? How many? A few thousand? A few thousand, right? You think people actually give a shit about what you have to say, Billy? They show up because they think that I am the end result. They show up because they think that if they walk like you and talk like you and wear fucking turtlenecks like you, then they will end up with me. I am the reason why you exist. So let's fucking drop this shit, like all of it, honestly, and let's fuck or eat or something. God damn, and keep doing what the fuck we've been doing because it's been working. How about Ty? It's not. Italian? No, it's not working anymore. You should go. Oh, shut up, Billy. No, I'm serious. Maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe the world does revolve around you. Or 
people like you. But we're supposed to revolve around each other. And we don't. Maybe it's my fault, maybe it's because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing anymore. But you act like, like these things revolve around you because they should. Like it's some burden that you have to carry around. But it's not, Natalie. It's just narcissism and it's fucking boring. And I don't want it anymore. If I go, I'm gonna win, you know? I'm sure you will. Fucking destroy you online, so. Do what you have to do. Actually, no. Fuck you. You get out. I'm staying. This is my place. That's my bed. No shit. You're really not gonna go? No. <laughs> okay. Don't be here when I get back. Yeah, I go think for your fucking self. Asshole. Narratives. You're gonna deprogram. You're gonna clear your slate. You gotta know your story. What story are you in? What's the narrative that you tell yourselves when you wake up in the morning? We all do it. Based off songs we hear, you know, movies we see. We've all seen Disney, right? The prince saves the princess. Two dogs make out over a piece of spaghetti. Happy ever after, that's a good one. Everyone loves that. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Slow and steady wins the race. They never tell us how these stories end. Because the tortoise and the hare go out to the bar after, and spoiler alert, the hare still gets the girl. Why do you think he's so tired? But we cling to these Hollywood endings, these fantasies. We get our expectations way up here. What happens when we don't make them? There are entire industries devoted to what happens when we don't make them. Pharmaceutical industry, therapy industry. Anyone in here a child of divorce? Yeah, a lot of you. So you can't trust anyone, right? Least of all yourselves. See a therapist. Take a pill. You know, people call us millennials. Call us Gen Z. Those are the ones in the audience whose balls haven't dropped yet. I call us the blanket generation. Because we can't do anything without needing to medicate afterwards without needing to roll up in a blanket and find our safe place. Why didn't you get your job? Because I was triggered. And then what happened? Then my therapist told me that blah, 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 blah. I'm sick of it. And I'm not saying it's bad to seek help. I'm not saying that trauma doesn't happen. Trauma happens to all of us. Some of us, when we're young, before we even have any tools to defend ourselves, but someone out there is eating your lunch. Someone's getting that job. Someone's fucking that girl or that guy. Someone's making that money. Someone's winning that game. And all you guys care about is having an understandable excuse. Does anyone out here know the difference between genius and talent? Anyone? Talent is being great at established things. She plays Mozart beautifully. He's lights out from behind the line. He knows pies and 600 digits. That's talent. But genius 
It's finding something that no one on earth has ever seen before. And creating it from nothing. Steve Jobs turned your computer into a camera. Isaac Newton got hit in the head with the apple. He invented calculus. That's genius. And everyone in this room is a genius at something. Can do something that no one else has ever seen before. Our jobs are not to make money. Our jobs are not the house or the car. Our, our jobs while you are on this rock is to find out what that is. What can you do that no one else can? You put all of your eggs in that basket and you run as fast as you can. Authenticity is the truest form of currency. And for some of you, the most genius thing that you can ever do is figuring out how to rewrite your own stories. Narratives. Know their power. Excuse me? Miss? Excuse me? Can I have a seat, please? It's them. Huh? What? We're not Miss. I'm sorry. I don't... <laughs> um, can I order from you all, or? Lend your booze around. Okay, then. I guess I'll just seat myself. Excuse me, sir. No smoking here. Put that away or go outside. How do you know I'm a sir? What do you want me to call you? I would like you to let me smoke. And I don't like to work in a place that doesn't give me cancer or any other respiratory illnesses. But we can't get all what we want, can we? Look, I'm just trying to... Hey, Mr. Martini. Who's following who? I guess you caught me. Yeah, the jig is up. Might as well come and join me. It's whom? You know this place? No, uh, I just came to sit down for a bit. You sleep at all? I don't think I'd call it that, exactly. Well, this place is my favorite. I come here every morning, and they serve breakfast all day, and coffee's pretty cheap. <clears throat> so, what will it be? Oh, just get me, um... I don't know what, what's good here. He'll, he'll get the All-American. Oh, so it is the he, huh? And a cup of coffee, please. No, I'll take a refill, too. You can't smoke. You can't smoke in here? <sighs> Megan, stop showing off. It's so unbecoming. Do I know you from somewhere? No. 
Megan, fuck off. Jeez, remind me not to get on your bad side. I don't have a bad side. They know me here, it's fine. She just doesn't like it when people do it, so she says that to everybody. I didn't figure you for a waitress's worst nightmare. Just her. It's kind of fun, though, huh? What? Being surprised. I didn't take you for a Chianti kind of guy. Please don't base anything off of last night. I was... Not you? Yeah. And what about right now? I thought you'd order for yourself. Isn't that kind of your thing? Oh, my God. It is you. Billy saw them. Holy shit, I follow you. My friends are going to lose their shit. Can we take a picture? Yeah, sure. Smile. I'm going to be famous. Sorry about that. It must get annoying. Uh, it's just kind of part of it at this point. I guess I asked for it, right? What'd you get me anyway? You'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> I know, Billy. Life is hard. Or so we've been told over and over and over again. But you know, son, there will come a time in your life where nothing makes sense. When everything that you were told, thought, became in your life, none of it will make sense to you. And it will be that moment in life, Billy, where you will decide who you really are. You'll either become like them, or you will become like you. It will be the most important decision of your life. It'll make you or break you. I want to talk about it. What? Whatever turned the guy I saw on stage into the guy that I saw last night and that I'm seeing right now. Not really. That's okay. Of course. I might help talk it out, though. Might need to use some of that famous seldom confidence right about now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's getting pretty bad out there. Well, I'm not in any position to give anyone any advice right now. Now we're in the age of celebrity. These people have become our gods, right? Oh, no, you don't agree with me? Let me ask you something. When you wake up in the morning, before you even pray, what do you do? You scroll, check out Instagram, check out TikTok, right? Yeah, it's grand before God in this country every morning, worshiping these celebrities. And you don't even know. Buying their brands, and their image, their stories. It's celebrities. How many of you people have met your idols and wished you had them? Huh? Because they couldn't live up to the expectations. Isn't that a bummer? Superficiality! Celebrities feed and breathe on superficiality. I'm supposed to be a celebrity. You believe that shit? Yeah. I was interviewed this morning by a woman. You'd all recognize her. Interviewer, news anchor, whatever. She called me the face of the ideals of a generation. Why? Because I could sell out an arena? Because I got all you in here? God, the, the, the standard, it's not based on anything. It's just based on 
who seems like they're the one to listen to at any given moment. And we listen to these people so we don't have to listen to ourselves. We stay up at night scrolling for hours, losing sleep. All so we can quiet the voices in our heads. Bad voices, gnarly voices, telling us all kinds of fucked up shit about ourselves. Horror stories. Eyes on the fucking ceiling that won't shut up. Go away! And that's how we end up giving a shit about who got the rose, or who thought they could dance, or, or let's all chip in and raise a million dollars to watch some geriatric box that guy from that thing. I'm, the fuck is happening here? What the fuck is happening here? You know, our standards out there are based on the standards that we create for ourselves. We need to fix them. And the way that we fix them is by thinking for... Why am I saying it? This is your guy's fucking job. You say, three, two, one. Think for yourself. I try to act like I have all my shit together. The truth is, I'm just in the same boat as everyone else. I just have a catchphrase. Slightly better poker face. These people... All of these people, they, they expect me to be this version of myself that they want me to be. Right? Someone who will tell them what they want to hear. Make them feel how they want to feel. It's like this... It's like this monster that I've created that I, I, can't, I can't come out from. I was just trying to help people, you know? I was just trying to give people confidence. I was trying to make them feel how they want to feel and hear what they want to hear. But you can't trust feelings. And you can't count on... on anyone else. You know, people hear what they want to hear, and they see what they want to see, they say what they want to say, and then they just leave and forget about the rest. I'm no, di I'm no different. I, I don't have any more control over my shit. I just... I'm just a fucking hypocrite. Well, you helped me, and you helped a lot of people. And that'll always be true. I guess I'm just going through a little existential crisis right now. Oh, poor William. No one... My mom used to call me William. She passed away when I was six. I'm so sorry to hear that. About your folks, are they still around? Yeah. They divorced when I was 12, and um, that got me into a pretty dark place. I hated myself, and I hated everyone. And then I um, realized we're all in the same boat, and we keep telling the same story, and it's all bullshit. You know, we keep telling ourselves the same thing, kind of like you're doing right now. And I can't believe the person who says all those things on stage is sitting right here, and he can't even take his own advice. I don't get it. Well, our own advice is the toughest advice to take, right? So then let me give it to you. What you do is valuable, and people need to hear it. Especially with everything that's going on out there. And where you have it wrong is that you think you need to be this asshole to be independent, but you can still think for yourself. You just have to lean on other people. That's never been how it is for me. Well. You're leaning on me. Don't you feel better? Hmm. It's good. Give me your phone. Text me if you need a reminder. Say your mind is rushed I feel
Being lost, son, we all go through that at some point in life. But like I said, that's where you'll find yourself, or just follow the crowd. But you know, Billy, if you stay lost, the longer you're gone, the closer you are to your own destruction. Don't ever stay lost too long. Or else, it'll be the end of you, Billy Boy. I fell onto the beach with everybody's envy. It doesn't matter, cause I'm crying. that off. Missed you too. I'm gonna shower. Hey, are you gonna post tonight or what? This is like the longest you've been at my A from your social. Yeah, yeah. How can I forget? Something. I didn't apologize. Well, I forgive you for that, too. But I can think of a few ideas for you to make it up to me. No. It's just kiss and make up. No, 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 no. I meant what I said. I mean, you were upset. Both were upset. But I meant it. That you should go. There's nothing more to say. Nothing.
Good evening, everyone. Sorry, it's been a quiet day. It was a long one. Let me try and read some of these. Uh, cheers from Australia. Good day, my Aussie mates. Let's see. I love you. Giuseppe. Ciao, Giuseppe. You know, my agent's Italian. I should put you guys in touch. Give you guys a second while you all tune in. Here we are. Here we are. You know, for a long time, you guys have all been listening to me tell you, think for yourself. Find yourself. You know, look out for yourself. Fuck everyone else, right? You've all thought probably that that comes from a place of strength, confidence. And that's good. I hope you do, because I want you to be confident. But I've been thinking today. And what I've learned is that that has never come from a place of confidence from me. No, for me, it has always come from a place of fear. You're selfish and you should be afraid. Hashtag cancel. Sorry, I just want to check that that's my girlfriend. Or should I say ex-girlfriend? What are we now, baby? Yeah. No, I'm afraid, guys. This is an age of fear and anger. At least that's what it seems like everybody wants us to feel, right? The news, social media, everybody's going fucking crazy. Don't you guys ever get tired of staring at your phones? Huh? Don't you ever get tired of listening to me talk blah, 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 every day? More, 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 because you're fucking terrified of being with yourselves for one fucking second. One second of quiet. The truth is, if any of you guys ever did think for yourselves, your fucking heads would explode. None of you can even wipe your ass without someone telling you how to do it. You say, Billy, how do I do it? Billy, give me strength. Billy, tell me what to do. Now you fucking... Ha! Fuck off! Cancel me? I'm afraid. I'm afraid of not posting. I'm afraid that if I post something wrong or if I don't post you guys will go away maybe you will forget about me maybe maybe you won't even remember who I am I'm not afraid anymore so there's not gonna be any more from Billy I tried to be one encouraging voice in this cacophony of anger and pain Ugh, and chaos, and it hasn't made a fucking difference, has it? No. It all just swirls down the same bowl together. So I don't care what you do. You can unfollow me. You can unfriend me. You can cancel me. I don't give a shit. At least maybe that's something you can all do together. What the fuck? Now there's nothing else to say. Are you fucking stupid? <gasps> Leonardo! What can I do for you, Leo? Or not Billy. do? Billy, tell me you know what the fuck you just did. Tell me you know it. No yeah, clue. I think I do. Billy, the world is a fucking sensitive and cynical place. How do we recover from this? There's no turning back. Billy, I thought we had something good. So did I. It was shit. But it wasn't. What do you mean it wasn't? It wasn't good. Billy, I'm gonna have to let you go. I know. Billy? Billy? Ma che cazzo ha riattaccato? Mm -hmm. 
Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, where was I? Now, when you start to make all these changes, one of the things you have to prepare yourself for is people's perception of you. Because the first side effect, when you start thinking for yourselves, is people will call you selfish, call you an asshole, say you've changed. Don't listen. It's just fear. These people are projecting their fear onto you with their insecurities and their anxieties because they want to keep you where they are. They're lost, they want you to be just as lost as them. They think that they're saving the world by agreeing with you. Keeping the ship right side up. Staying safe, staying protected. And then here you come along, saying no, doing what you want, thinking for yourself, you say, well, no, maybe I don't agree. Or, yeah, that's an interesting point, but maybe I'll come to my own conclusions about whether I want to spend my mornings cooking sourdough bread in my kitchen. You'll see. These friends, these family members, these coworkers, they will lose their shit. They'll call you names. They'll call you selfish. When you start thinking for yourself, you come to know yourself. When you do that, you find that that person, that version of you, can start to accomplish meaningful things because they will find meaning in them. So be genius. Be selfish, take no prisoners, and suffer no fools. And go out there and get started. Thank you. have almost lost 500,000 followers. And now, hashtag cancelability is trending right along hashtag world is over. I don't care. I've had it. I don't give a shit. Just get the fuck out of here. Excuse me? Leave. Please. Oh, so you're gonna kick me out right as the world is shutting down? I will give you one guess what my advice to you will be. If I go, this is it. Heard you the first time. Selfish asshole. <sighs> don't go. Please don't. Come on in, son. Hi, sweetie. Promise me you'll listen to your father. I 
<laughs> Don't promise me. Never lose. What's in here? said every morning. You're a good listener. Um, I just wanted to tell you in person, uh, thanks for yesterday. I, I really needed to hear that. Anytime. Is everything OK, though? Because that was a very interesting live last night. Yeah. <laughs> I should be back in a couple days, I think. But I would love to see you. Well, you know where to find me. <laughs> yeah. As we saw, today was a turning point. Yes. The beginning. Of the, end. the beginning of the end. You got a cigarette? Yeah. Good, now throw that shit away. What, you don't smoke anymore? Cigars, Billy Boy, cigars. Not those damn tiny cigarettes. Those cigarettes, son. Those damn things are just a propaganda machine. 
You know, there was a time when doctors would tell pregnant women to smoke cigarettes in order to relax more. <laughs> Hell, they'd even smoke them in the doctor's office when they were there for their checkups. Nowadays, it would be unheard of for an expected mother to do such a thing. Hey, I get it. I, I get it. You know, son, I've seen your talks, your interviews. Seems to me you're doing just fine. I seem fine to you? Was it something I said? What didn't you say? I don't follow you, son. Everything I know about the world and about how it works, I got that from you. Hey, but I go out there and I tell it to everyone else and they love me for it and they think it's coming from me. But it's not, right? Those aren't my words, those are your words. I wake up every day and I feel like shit because I'm, I'm not being honest. Do you have any idea what that's like? Wake up every day and feel like a fraud? You told me all this stuff and you jammed it down my throat, but you never gave me any opportunity to go out there and find it out for myself. I know, son. I may have overstepped when it came to telling you about the world. Losing your mother. That was hard. I had to make sure you were ready for what was out there. You know, I wanted to be your father, but also, I also had to make up for her not being here. I'm, I'm not here for a lecture. Okay, I don't want to hear your, your ideas or your thoughts or your musings about cigarettes in the 50s. That's not why I came here. I just... Use your help. Well, what do you want to do? I can't believe I got so dumb 
masa 